Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Keel Dyke and welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to take a quick look at the brand new Orange Pi Zero 2W, which is scheduled to release. I believe it comes out October 4th of this year. So if you guys have noticed and follow this channel, Orange Pi has been pumping out a lot of single board computers this year. In fact, if you watch some of my previous videos, I expressed my concerns about that because typically if you release a bunch of single board computers, you're gonna have different chips and different performance values at any rate. And then of course you also wonder who's going to actually support it. But this is a cool device. I can't wait to get my hands on it. I got a few of these coming to me in the mail. But just a quick review of what this thing can do. If you guys are familiar with the Raspberry Pi Zero 2W, I have a video of this installing this in my a GPI case that I did about a couple of years ago. This thing is very uh, small and it's compact. I will do a comparison review uh, when I do get these in the mail, but if you look very close at these two units, they're pretty much identical. In fact, they're pretty much the same kind of board except the Orange Pi team changed it from Raspberry Pi to Orange Pi. And of course they put their own logos on here. But as far as the connections, everything is laid out just the same if you look very carefully. Uh, the only difference between the two boards is obviously one is Raspberry Pi and Raspberry Pi uses their own chip. Uh, this one is using an H6, uh, H16, I'm sorry, H618 all winner uh, PCB or processor that is on here. But as far as all the connections, uh, all the connections are lined up in the same spot. Uh, the Orange Pi 202W will be using a USB-C connection. It has HDMI, uh, which is listed here on the top. Uh, the uh, SD card slot is listed or actually placed in the same spot if you guys look very carefully. You also have your additional display import here. And then of course on the Pi Zero 2W, uh, you have the uh, micro SD connectors. All, everything is lined up in the same place. Again, the only difference is uh, you have a more powerful chip uh, that is on this one current gen. But let's go ahead and take a look at some of the specs. Uh, this thing is gonna come included with a quad core Cortex A53 processor. It is supporting a Mali G31 graphics processor that runs OpenGL 1.0 all the way up to 3.2, OpenCL 2.0, and Vulkan 1.1. Now, I don't remember uh, all the features. We do know that I was able to run uh, Dreamcast, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, and a lot of other things uh, with this particular board on the Raspberry Pi version. However, we can expect a lot more power coming out of this one because this chip... Uh, should be capable of emulating a lot more, uh, doing a little bit more emulation with that. And, you know, with that, you will get some additional power. Now, this may also, you may be able to use this with your GPI case. It may be an alternative, uh, but that's a whole nother story. We'll probably cover that in another video. But uh, this also supports 16 megabytes of flash, has Wi-Fi 5, Bluetooth 5.0 with BLE support. Uh, it can also be extended with the USB 2.0 with a 100 meter Ethernet IR receiver audio output. Now, the one that I got cost me about $27. I got it from AliExpress. Uh, there is an additional adapter you could get with this in order to get uh, two USB ports on there and an Ethernet port uh, as well. In fact, I'll pull up a picture here. You guys could take a look at it. Uh, this has multiple memory options that are needed. Uh, they have these in variations of one gigabyte. 1.5, I don't remember seeing that on the site. Two gigabytes is there, definitely four gigabytes. And the one that I got for $27 uh, with everything included is four gigabytes. And again, this is going to support Wi-Fi 5, Bluetooth 5.0. So we will get some good online connectivity for gaming and as well as some of the other features as well. Also supports Android 12, Debian 11, Debian 12, Ubuntu, Ubuntu 20.04, and Orange Pi OS. Now, um, I'm not sure. Well, we also have Armbian, and uh, we will check to see if our current RetroPie image uh, will load on there, just for you know, just for hobby purposes. I'm not sure exactly how far we'll go into development, but I just thought this would be pretty cool uh, in order to get. But uh, there's been a lot of high hopes for this particular board here, and so um, hopefully more additional teams will get this. Uh, you also have your 40-pin header here as well, and you also have, uh, this is your LED here for your status, uh, so that way you guys can see the uh, the activity uh, directly on the board. 
Uh, I would get a case for this. I'm not sure if there are any cases currently available. You also have your micro SD card slot here, your mini HDMI interface. So this should interfa uh, interface directly uh, with your TV or whatever you other type of devices or hobbies uh, that you guys are currently uh, working on. Uh, again, this has USB uh, type C connection. I believe it's shared on this particular board, just like it is on the Orange Pi 5. Uh, so I don't see anything else on here other than the fact that it's an all winner H618 quad core context uh, Cortex A53 processor. So you guys will get a lot of good gaming on there. This should be able to run. Uh, I want to say maybe Sega Saturn, maybe, you know, because you have your scaling going down. Uh, we'll really have to wait and see, you know, depending upon the kernel and uh, really what's available to us. Uh, video output supports 4K at 60 FPS. In fact, let's take a look really quick. I can't remember what the Raspberry Pi version uh, supported. Let's see, this one here was on the one gigahertz. I'm uh, 512 megabytes of SD RAM. So we're definitely going to get a huge kick of performance uh, with the DDR RAM that they are offering. Uh, let's see here, the Raspberry Pi version, one gigahertz quad core. So it is 500 megahertz more, well, the Orange Pi version is gonna be 500 megahertz more powerful. Uh, looks like it's coming in with the same type of chip, 2.4 uh, gigahertz. Well, not so much the same type of chip, but 853 type class. Uh, this one had Bluetooth. I uh, believe the board also has H.264 and 265. Okay, so this one only upscaled to 1080p, 30 frames per second. So uh, that is a drastic improvement in terms of video output support, 4K at 60 FPS. Uh, this thing is pretty much a beast for this little size. In fact, uh, in this compact size, this is probably the most powerful single board computer uh, in this class. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what they call this particular class uh, of single board computers, but looks like it's definitely due to uh, do its thing. But yeah, you guys can see it looks exactly like the Raspberry Pi uh, Zero 2W. But we have a lot of hope for this. We just wanted to uh, let you guys know what's coming down the line. Have a few of these on order. Uh, again, these retail starting out with well, the four gigabyte version starts at about 27. I believe the one gigabyte version sells for about 22. And you can also get that additional uh, adapter. All right, so quickly looking at AliExpress. This is one of their affiliate sites here. You can see that they are selling for $20 if you get the one gigabyte version. And then this is the additional adapter that I was telling you about earlier. Looks like it clips just right into the bottom. Uh, and it also comes with the eight pin uh, cable as well. As you can see here, this is kind of how it lines up. I'll blow this up here so you guys could take a look at it. But um, it's a nice little form factor. Everything just kind of stacked right there on top. But I'm really interested to see what exactly are these cases gonna look like? Let's see if I can blow this up here. All right, I think this is about as big as it's gonna get. So you get the Orange Pi Zero 2W development board, uh, which comes with a 40 pin uh, color arrangement or needle arrangement. Uh, you also get the Orange Pi Zero 2W expansion board uh, with this, and you also get the 24 pin uh, cable uh, with this as well. It says there is no uh, there are no wielded 40 pins on the development board and they will be shipped together with the, the development board. So uh, this is pretty much what you're getting. It's pretty cool. I mean, I wanted to go ahead and get this because just initially I can't think of anything that can plug directly into that board other than maybe, you know, maybe my GPI case. I may have to find it. I got it around here somewhere in a box. I mean, but that might uh, plug in. But again, the only difference is this uses USB uh, C connections as well. But all in all, we have a lot of good hopes uh, as far as what we can expect from this type of device. Looks pretty cool and is reasonably priced. I mean, starting out at $20, going up to about $27, you know, for the full package. I mean, if you're a tinkerer, then this is something that technically should be on your radar. Now, if you wanted to get the expansion by itself, uh, the expansion alone goes for $4.90. But uh, however, I would suggest going ahead getting this. Uh, 
I mean, you're not breaking the bank. It's only four dollars and ninety cents. Is that with the additional add-on? Plus, you get an Ethernet port. I mean, honestly, that's just a no-brainer. But uh, again, guys, you guys, you can expect a little bit more information on this here in the next upcoming videos. Make sure you hit the notification bell, like and subscribe, and we will let you know if uh, anything comes up of any type of development uh, here in the future. But with that being said, I will catch you guys later. Peace out. You guys all have a great day. Bye-bye.